So today's video is all about electric vehicle charging and I've been installing a Rolex smart charging unit in a garage for a beautiful new Mercedes EQC electric vehicle. Uh, this one was a bit of a tricky one because there was a long cable run on it and also the earthing system was PME so we had to install an earth electrode for the whole garage including the electric vehicle charging point. So let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this video hit that like button and if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. So today we're going to be installing one of these Rolex tethered charging units, a smart charging unit again. You've probably seen my previous video about this, but this installs a little bit different today. It's um, quite a fun one, so we're gonna show you this. So, um, new thing with Rolex is they've started supplying these little metal consumer units now, little enclosures. So it's a two module enclosure with a DIN rail in which is great because they provide you the RCBO, but now they provide you with this as well. So what we're actually gonna do is put this into the meter cupboard. Um, just put a Henley block in the meter cupboard, spur off the tails, and then put this in there and run the new 10 mil three core armored from here. So the charge point is going on here in the garage, and we're gonna run the cable up into the eaves of the garage along here down through the wall to the outside. Um, so we'll pop out up there somewhere, clip the cable down onto the fence. Along the fence a little way, and then the customer has very kindly dug in a um, 63 mil duct for us with a draw wire, so we're gonna pull that through because actually these are gates. So um, we don't wanna be clipping along the gates, so it's gonna go underground along here. All the way along. Under here, and then out, and we're gonna clip it all the way along the fence here. Around. Around the corner. Um, we're running a data cable in as well at the same time up the corner here and we've already got that cable gone through and it goes into the loft space so there's like a void where the eaves are that goes all the way across the house and pops out on the other side so i'll take you around to the other side and show you what's over there here we are at the other side of the house so we've come through the soffit here we've just drilled a hole through the soffit and we're going to clip this armored cable down a nice big loop underneath the meter box and then in to meter box and we're going to put that little Rolex consumer unit in there so that is the cable run but the fun part about this job is that of earthing again because it's a PME system so what we're going to do about the earthing oh by the way this is the car that we're installing it for Mercedes EQC, one of the first 100 Mercedes EQCs in the country. Very nice, very nice car. So the garage is currently on, it's got its own supply already. It's got this little two-way consumer unit here, uh, which has got RCD protection, but it's connected to the PME earthing system of the house at the moment. So what we're gonna do in order to avoid two different potentials out here. Uh, we're gonna put an earth stake in, an earth electrode, should I say, in for the entire building. So we're gonna connect it into the main earth terminal here, but we're also gonna have it doing the earthing for the charging point. And that just means that there's no possibility of two different potentials going on around the um, garage so outside here there is this um, garage wall, the outside garage wall what we're going to do 
is just put an earth rod in down here. Soil feels nice and soft, so hopefully we should get a good reading, but we'll have to get it in and see. The customer's told us that there aren't any underground services running under here. He knows exactly where they are. The only thing that's nearby is the um, manhole there, so that's for sewage, but that runs basically down the middle of the lawn here, so we're gonna be quite far from it. I have ordered a CAT scanner just in case though. So if that turns up in time, because it's going to be delivered by HSS, then I'll use the CAT scanner and just double check. But I'm quite confident that there's nothing down there anyway. So that's the um, little run through of the job. Um, we've got Chris working with me today. He's up in the um, attic cleating the armoured cable. So I'm going to start sorting out the meter point end so we've got the cable now in coming down here from the soffit going to clip that neatly down looping up into the board here and what i've done is just put a piece of wood at an angle a bit like they do with the cutout so that um, it helps with the angle of the armored cable going into the enclosure because you don't want it to be kinked or too tight and it's a 10 mil three quarter arm it's fairly stiff so that just makes it easier to terminate it in. So I'm going to put a Henley block up here to split into these tails and then come out of the Henley block into the top of the uh, little Rolex consumer unit and then out with the armoured at the bottom. So after the recent video that John Ward made about earth rod covers, I looked into it and I've got myself one of these today from Screwfix. Uh, better quality than the green stupid little box that I used last time. So what I'm going to do is just dig this into the ground and then I've got myself a little tool here for actually hammering it in using my SDS hammer. So I'm going to give that a go and see how it goes in. Hi, so time for a little walk round. Uh, to be honest, this job's been a bit manic. It's been a bit of a rush to get it done in one day. So. I've not had that much chance to do filming, which is a little bit annoying, but I'll show you what I've done anyway. Um, so here is the earth cable now coming down in conduit down to the earth rod here. Nice with its little cover and everything. So I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. Um, so we go through to the garage and you'll see the charging point here. So that's all up and running and working. We got a really good reading of 20.8 ohms on the um, earth rod for earth loop impedance. So that's good. And then the cable, we've just clipped it up and around here. Um, what we've done is from the earth rod, we've gone across the garage over to here and we've put a main earthing terminal here, which I still need to label up. And then we've gone down into the consumer unit. We've disconnected the earth from the steel wire armoured at the consumer unit so that this whole building is also off the earth rod so that there's no potential difference between the two. And then from the earth terminal, we've gone along to the charging point as well. Outside, you can just see the armoured cable come down there, drops down along the fence into the duct there along under the gate all the way round and it's just clipped along underneath the edge of the fence all the way around here then up and into the building up there and then it goes through the loft space as you saw earlier so up here the cable comes in just over there you can see and then we've cleated it along this beam here you can just see it down there. Uh, comes along, just got to cleat that up at that end there. And then it goes through here into this little loft space. And then we've cleated it along here. Uh, look at the craziness, look. Metal clips, even though it's in this kind of place, no way anyone's going to get tangled with that, but we must obey the regs through this little void here crawly 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 along here and then 
can in the corner there and then it just pops through you can't see it and I've not got a light oh here we go I've got a light here along in the corner there and then it just pops through down out of the wall nice and neat so here's the finished product managed to get everything in here neatly so we've got the Rolex um, RCBO here 40 amp RCBO armoured cable coming out and then up and into the soffit and I've just put a Henley block here with all the tails coming out from the isolator into the Henley block then up into the house and down into this isolator I put this board just to make it a little bit angled so it's easier on the cable because you don't have to do a little kink in the cable as it comes into the box and um, overall quite happy with the result it was a bit tight but I managed to get it in so yeah I'm dead happy. Mm -hmm.